Good evening, everyone. I'm LaDawn Davis. Immigration Minister the Honorable Brent Simonet says policy changes are on the horizon, with legislative changes which will solidify the government's response to thousands left in limbo by uncertain immigration status. That from the Immigration Minister today during his contribution to the mid-year budget debate. Kishla Adderley was there. Roni Jean Charles became the face of all the immigration questions left unaddressed for decades. But today, Immigration Minister Brent Simonet says steps are being taken to remedy an immigration conundrum of the so-called stateless with a documentation center at the Haitian Embassy here in Nassau. The government of Haiti has established this center, which, as it says, is for the reception and delivery of identification documents, has 21 centers in Haiti. They are going to increase that to 40 centers. And this center is responsible for issuing national ID cards, driver's licenses, and passports. Now, this has become very relevant because a lot of times what happens here in Nassau is the answer is the earth form earthquake in Haiti destroyed our paperwork or a fire destroyed our paperwork, or it got lot, whatever, the paperwork is not available. So this is a very dynamic shift. The shift will also mean the government addressing residents left in limbo for years. We're going to propose, after this audit is finished, that we look at, and will suggest to my cabinet colleagues, is that we need to establish rules that deal with children born outside of the Bahamas to married Bahamian women and a foreign spouse. We need to deal with that issue. It was part of earlier chats and has seemingly gone. Children born to a single Bahamian male, we need to look at that whole issue. But the more important issue going forward, and this is the issue I will end on here, apart from one other issue I need to talk about, is persons born in the Bahamas to non-Bahamian parents who fail to apply after the age of 19, unless other circumstances entitle them to, will only be granted permanent residency with the right to work and not citizenship. Meantime, an immigration commission has been established to deal specifically with those who are born here and have applied for citizenship during the ages of 18 and 19 as prescribed by law. The cabinet will decide on those. This, as a 10 decades long problem, is finally being solved. So I will foreshadow today there will be amendments to the immigration rules as we go forward. This was a discussion I was, and I've mentioned here in the floor of the House many times, it is time to have this discussion, which is not reactionary to lawsuits that are happening over there. It's something I've been foreshadowing for a long time because the immigration rules in our country started with independence, essentially, in 1973 and have not been drastically overhauled, I think is a fair comment, in the 40-odd years since independence. Kishla Adderley, ZNS Network News.